Well, that tank looks about eyeball level, so we'll call that good. Now we gotta move this other little one over here. Last night we were working on this and it's just so spongy right over here in this corner. So we just let it sit overnight, let it have a little bit of time to dry and that man to all the world the difference. It's pretty firm over there now. He's working with the blade on the excavator. There's plenty of boulders where we live. There, that looks like a really nice flat surface. Hopefully it sets on there perfectly. I got a feeling we're gonna be shoveling some though. There we go, I think that is about as level as we are gonna get it. It ain't perfect, but it's perfect to me. And it looks like it's the pillars are sitting on good solid ground. That's freaking awesome. Well, it's now noon. The rest of the guys took off in front of me in the other pickup, the service pickup. We're gonna try it. The sun's been out all morning. The wind's been blowing for quite a while. Hopefully it goes now. Last night we were 16%, 17%, 16.5, somewhere in that range. If it's 15, we're gonna take it. We gotta start going here. They're calling for more rain, and at what point is it ever gonna dry up? I don't think we're to that point to where they won't dry down anymore, but we gotta keep moving along, that's for sure. Daily grease circ right there. It's gonna be a pain in the butt to get to. I felt it up here the other day. Where'd it go? Oh, well, there it is, okay. I didn't actually hurt, it just fell. I just wanted to say something. I'm gonna try it. That's one of three done. We're gonna put the grease gun back here. So that way she doesn't get rained on if it decides to rain. Tank dispense. Okay, check the oils. That one has oil. Does this one have oil? Very full amount of oil. We're right at the full line, so. Good to go. Well, I'm really hoping those wet beans I combined yesterday will come out. Otherwise, this might not be fun. They're coming out. Well, we're giving it another try. I don't have high hopes for it to be dry. Dad said anything under 15, we're taking it. We're at 15 one. I think we're gonna send it. Right there we all got our percentage. We're at 15.3, 15.2, 14.9. We got sun shining, the wind's blowing like crazy. That number's only gonna get better. We're, it's already down to 14.3 it says. So we're, we're golden. We're gonna have a good day hopefully, no breakdowns. I think it's time to take the plastic off my chair so that way I can enjoy this cool seat. Now I can turn the cool seat on. Okay, since it's wet and it is thrashing a little bit harder, I just wanna come out and look and see how my job is. So I'm gonna compare behind the header here, what I see on the ground, and then back what's coming out of the machine. Typically the way outside is where you'll really see if you're spinning them out on the spinner. So here's one. That came from the combine. These two came from the combine. It's not bad, there's not much laying out here. Okay, I am going to adjust a few settings here. I'm gonna close the concave up one, drop the fan down a few, and see what sort of hopper looks like. Everything I did should get a little bit cleaner. Well, I went along that end, came down, and then just split the field in half. And I think we gotta wait a little bit. Right here, my monitor is showing 16% yet. And then this load average, we're showing 15.8. We wanna be under 15, that we're really pushing our luck. Dry beans, I believe are 13% or 13.5. These little green patches in there don't help nothing. Maybe it'll go this evening, I don't know. Maybe it didn't dry down much from yesterday, like a point. Okay, to double check and verify that my combine is correct, I'm going to take our little handy John Deere tester here and see what this thing shows. 17.7. We're gonna take a sample from up here. 16.6, that one's a little bit better, but I just don't think I'm gonna get a test to come back under 15. 16.6 again, or 16.3. We're too wet. Well, guess who forgot the tester on the roof of the combine? Dad, it wasn't me, it was Brandon. You know, that's never a good sign when you got three people standing there. JT goes, I think I might have accidentally overloaded the red truck. Let's see what kind of damage he did. Oh, that don't look so bad. It's full, but I don't think we're crazy overloaded. Dad's back there making sure I don't get my mud flap ripped off. Go. Oof. Yeah, JT. That's too full. I can give him a little bit of a break on this one. Last week he filled this truck, but it wasn't completely full. He didn't remember how many pounds he put in it. 
and now this week he tried filling it up the rest of the way just by eyeballing it and he overdid it a little bit. that sunlight's starting to come out a little more. Still trying to get Cameron's combine fixed here. So last week before the rain, combine and the wet beans made this sludge in there and blew his belt. It also bent the chain's tensioner here, so we gotta get this loosened up and hopefully pounded back down. Bent the bolt too though. This thing tastes horrible. Yeah, but they're addicting. I know, I keep eating them. Well, it's 345, they're still working on that combine. JT's swinging his feet on the pickup over there. I just don't think it's gonna go today. I really wish it would, but it's just tough. We got good wind. We got good sun on and off when the clouds aren't covering it. They break open okay, but they're rubbery. Andrew, Cameron, you really the broke the everything, didn't you? Here. Don't worry, it's my fault. Blame me. I break hey, everything. So it's 1000% Cameron's fault. But like I was saying earlier, what happened is combining them wet green beans caked on this gooey, sandy crap all up in his auger, which allowed this thing not to spin and it like broke it. Yeah. It bent the frame on the outside here. Yeah, it did. That's why you can't combine wet beans. I love it when dad goes, oh yeah, we need this tool. Go get it. Oh, never mind. Now that you got it, we don't need it. Go get a pry bar. I'm going to get up there. He's going to say, huh, we don't need it. Pry bar. You do still need it? Are you sure? Here we go. Now we need a different pry bar. Watch, I'm gonna get it and get back to him. They're gonna say they're not gonna need it. What did I tell you? You know how when you take something apart and you put it all back together and you somehow manage to have more parts after you put it back together? Yeah, that was us with this. Well, that only took all day to fix, but I think we got it back together. We're gonna go try it again here. Brandon's taking his combine. Well, I think we might be good to go now, maybe. Up here, I'm showing 14%, and this load, I'm showing 14.1 average. Yeah, from when that moisture tester fell off the cab this morning, it, it don't work, it's broke. But I think I'm gonna take the combine's word for it. I think it is dry. It was pretty accurate last week on what the loads of the elevator were coming back at, so I think we're good to go. Like, we're pushing too much, but I think that'll work. They said anything under 15 we can take, so. Man, when you got three machines on a full quarter with no turnarounds, you can really knock some acres out. I mean, we started way over there, and we're just cruising along this sucker. we got everything about dialed in as the sun's going down and we're gonna have to quit here soon these beans are wet they are thrashing substantially harder and substantially different before we got all this rain so it took a quite a while to get everything dialed in but thanks to my friend taco it's a lot better our sieve loss back there looks a lot better my grain sample back here I wish it was a tiny bit cleaner, but I think I can live with that. That's pretty good. Just got out doing another check, making sure we're doing a good job. This header with that air bar, man, does that do a phenomenal job. No soybeans on the ground behind the header. It's looking like I'm winning the light game here. Dad's on, Brandon's on, Cameron's on. We, we still got the lead here. Me and JT are having a bit of a competition, but I think I, think I can hold them out. I guess I'm not winning the light game. I bailed out, JT beat me. The way we're combining right now is probably my favorite way to combine, but we don't get to do it that often. Where we all work in sync together going back and forth in the field. So they're both in front of me up there. 120 feet of header, taking chunk at a chunk, and the field just gets eaten up so fast. And plus it works out great for the grain cart too, because we're always right in sync with each other. Oh, I'm dragging, I'm dragging. That means it's getting tough. That means it's time to quit and go home and go eat a taco and go to bed my last load of the day i'm just praying it doesn't rain tonight we got a slight trance so we got everything all closed up but no rain i want to go again tomorrow 